I think we should talk about another person who's canceled as part of our deep steel blue pill. Hit me, baby! Little blue pills can take 30 minutes to get you ready for excitement. So that's why we're giving you a big deep steel blue pill! You take the blue pill. Believe whatever you want to. Get it up for the Texans! And take the deep steel blue pill! And by the way, she'll like it too. Texas Swarm! Uh! All right, guys. So we all, at some point, if we're on the internet, have heard about Houston's own Madden football streamer, Sketch. Sketch, for those who don't know, was the person who introduced the Houston Texans selection of Cade Stover in the third round of this past NFL draft. He's been featured prominently on social media feeds by the Houston Texans. He had a catch with C.J. Stroud. He seems to be a rather likable guy. But it turns out that, not that there's anything wrong with this, it is America, he also was a gay OnlyFans streamer. Hey, we've all got our tastes. We're all trying to make a buck. You know, we're all just ducks swimming on the surface with our feet paddling ever so quickly in this little game that we like to call life, okay? So a lot of people have been talking about Sketch. Sketch actually was on Theo Vaughn, a famous comedian's podcast, not too long ago. I listened to that entire interview because I didn't know anything about Sketch. I wanted to get a feel for who he is. I'm not going to watch his stream. I'm not going to watch someone play a video game online. Sorry. Haven't gotten to that point of boredom without internet. But while talking about Sketch, Theo Vaughn and another comedian, Nick Swartzen, they complimented Houston Texans fans in a way that should make you feel like you've been deep steel blue pilled. I think. But who cares that that he was gay? First of all, he was a Texans fan. Way tougher than doing some gay way stuff. Way tougher. What the F? Oh, more dudes took down David Carr than did Sketch ever, huh? Yeah, he got sacked 73 times his rookie oh. season. Okay, dude. I mean, good God, he got sacked in his f- mouth. I mean, is he wrong? Sketch, shown some toughness online. Houston Texans fans, showing toughness since 2002. Since the very beginning. And all that toughness, all those bruises, all those blows, all those strokes, everything that you've taken, all of those things, that pounding that you've received. No, not Sketch. As a Houston Texans fan, it's toughened you up for this year, for 2024, okay? And, I mean, it's a good point. Texans fans are tough. Sketch, he's tough. He's going to be fine, and we're going to be really fine this year. You know why? C.J. Stroud, that's right. D'Amico Ryans, that's right. Oh, a little Nico Collins, a little Tank Dell, a little Stephon Diggs, a little Joe Mixon, a healthy offensive line. Will Anderson, Daniil Hunter, Danico Autry, Aziz Al Shair, Derek Stingley, maybe somebody at number cornerback, uh, cornerback number two. I don't know who their safety is. Doesn't matter. Texans swarm, baby. You are tough. We are all tough. Texans swarm. swarm. There we go, Austin. Getting in on the action. Let's go. All right. So earlier in the show, we played audio of. Theo Vaughn talking about how tough Texans fans are with Nick Swardson, two famous comedians, while talking about Sketch, the Houston Texans fan that's turned into a phenom as a video game streamer who also did a little gay only fans back in the day. Not that there's anything wrong with that. We don't judge here. Create content. Always be podcasting. Always be creating. But we got some other things to get excited about as we're just under 48 hours away from the start of Texans training camp. 
I like to think of myself as a blue-collar man. Just because I went to all private schools over the course of my life, including one named Thayer Academy and another named Shorecrest Preparatory School, is no reason to believe that I am above the people. I'm a man of the people. I don't fly first class. Okay? I work out. I, I, I have a very hard job. There's a lot of physical demand to sit for three hours every single day talking into a microphone. It's just like digging ditches. It's just like restoring power to people across Houston. Okay? We all know this. That's why you, you've stuck around. You listen to me. I am a man of the people. Well, C.J. Stroud, also a man of the people. C.J. Stroud, over the weekend on Texans Reddit, a post was made showing C.J. Stroud on a Southwest Airlines flight sitting in the exit row. Yeah, but he wasn't on an airline with first class. C.J. Stroud wasn't wearing a hood over his head to hide his identity. Nope, he wasn't doing that. C.J. Stroud out and about in the window seat of an emergency exit row on a Southwest Airlines flight. That is a man of the people, guys. That is the kind of quarterback that would have a catch with youths, with with the uh, feral youths of America, okay? This is the kind of person that would have a catch with some street urchins. I'm just kidding, but uh, C.J. Stroud did have a catch after that dead hit show. Remember that? He was picking up some sticks and branches and stuff. Man of the people, man of the people. Flies on Southwest. Also, Houston Texans, model citizens. Here's another deep steel blue pill for you. Of all of the teams across the NFL, since 2000, guess who has the fewest arrested players? That's right. Your Houston Texans, the fewest arrested players in the NFL since 2000, 17. Next closest, the Rams with 18, the Lions with 19, the Eagles with 22. The Vikings, first place with 57. I wonder how many of those were from the love boat, but I know there were some others along the way. So how about that? Now, I, don't, I, I think if Deshaun Watson had been uh, arrested, and I don't think he ever was arrested, if Deshaun Watson was arrested for any of those sexual misconduct allegations, then maybe it would be 18 and they would be tied with the LA Rams. But nope, we're not counting that. Houston Texans, model citizens. And some of you people are upset that they've had too many Boy Scouts over the course of their time here in town replacing the Houston Oilers. How dare you? By the way, the former Houston Oilers, Tennessee Titans, they're in seventh place with 39 arrests. Huh? Kansas City Chiefs have been really surging towards the top. They got 41 right now. The Jacksonville Jaguars, 41. The Bengals, 51. Broncos, second place with 56. And the Minnesota Vikings in first place with 57. So the Texans, men of the people, flying in the exit row on a Southwest Airlines flight, not getting arrested. Hell yeah. Some more. Deep Steel Blue Pills. Oh, I got another one for you. I got another one for you. Texans just added to their pass rush. They just got a guy who had a ton of sacks this past season. A ton. We're talking seven sacks, seven tackles for a loss. Four. The D.C. defenders of the now United Football League that used to be the XFL, but then merged with the XFL, and they were one of the teams that survived. Yeah, so Malik Fisher, defensive end, uh, out of Villanova, and with the D.C. defenders the last two years, he's going to join the likes of Will Anderson, Daniil Hunter, Jerry Hughes, Derek Barnett, Dylan Horton, Danico Autry, Mario Edwards. Watch out. Texans swarm. You ain't ready for this. So you should be really excited about the Houston Texans. We are so close, so close to having entire shows talking about training camp. Entire shows. Oh, you don't want that? Oh, too bad. We're going to be so deep steel blue pilled up. 
We're going to be pumped. We're going to be excited. We're going to be ready to go.